Hi friends, I am Jitendra. Today we will going to see data weave transformation with Mule ESB part 7. In last 6 videos, we have gone through basic of you know data weave transformation. We have seen like various inbuilt function available for data weave transformation. We have seen some transformation from like CSV to JSON. Also, like we have seen some like how to transform from JSON to XML, XML to JSON. We have seen uh, also like how to invoke a custom function in your data web transformation. Today, we will going to see how to convert Excel to JSON and vice versa. So, let me start. So, first I will going to show you this is how my Excel look. I have ID, name, designation, address, city, and zip code. When I will map this. Division. I want address city state country and zip code into a single field called address. Okay, let me start quickly. First, I will say file new mule project. Okay, it has opened a dialog for you, so you can give a name Excel app for runtime. I will select 3.8.3 only. In your environment, there can be a multiple runtime. You can choose depending on your requirement. In rest of the setting, I will not going to touch. I will say next, next, finish. So it will create a new application for you. So first, we will drag and drop file connector into the canvas. So from where we will receive an Excel file. So let me configure a file connector first. For that, I have to create one folder that is known as in. So this folder will be act as an input file for in, as an input. So I will say source test resources. I will say in. Fine. Now other thing I want one output folder output where we can save our output. So I will say right click new folder. I will say out. Okay. So first we are going to convert Excel to JSON. Source test resources. I will say out. I want file in some pattern. I want in a JSON format. I will say message dot inbound properties dot original file name dot JSON. Okay. This is the setting we have to do. Now we have to do the transform. I will say transform message. They can drop between both file connector. Okay. So now I have to define the payload. So define add. I will say input underscore Excel. I will say create type. I will say Excel. Now you have to add the fields. So what and it's seat one. So basically. Here you have to define what is your seat name. It's seat one only, so I will keep it seat one. Otherwise, you can add it more. Okay. Now you need to define the field name. So we have an ID, name, designation, address, city, country, zip code. So I will add one by one. I will say ID. I can select the type also. If you want to change the type, you can say I will say number. Next, next field is name next field is after name what is that uh, let me check it should be a designation i forget i will check it it's a designation okay after that it's the address i will say city State to be cleared. Okay. So, see, you can see your metadata here. Now, I have to convert this metadata into JSON format. Okay, so I will say application JSON. Either you can define the metadata if you have a JSON format. Otherwise, what I will do, I will simply write a code. I will say employee. What you want? Payload dot from seat one, right? And you have to iterate. So I will use map. There are multiple record. 
the first field i want name what name dollar dot name second field i want designation third field okay i forget id in the first field i want id equals to dollar dot id fine no address i want everything in one field for address city and everything so i will use i will going to add all the fields first thing i will say dollar dot address now i will say plus plus i will say comma plus plus so let me do one thing i will give a space i will say dollar dot city now i will let me copy this thing i have to again i have to repeat this in this space okay, i will say dollar dot state again i paste it i will say dollar dot country i will give a space i will paste it i will give it in space dollar dot zip code this is the mapping we have to do we have completed our mapping so after completion of the mapping we have to test our application for testing the application we have to run it i will say okay let me close this excel sheet i have to use this excel sheet for testing we have a three records it jitender wapna joseph king and alexander close this let's wait while our application is deploying okay the application has been deployed successfully now i will drag and drop a excel file into in folders so this is my excel file i will drag and drop to in folder i will say okay 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 see the you can see the logs it has been created the one file into the output folder let me refresh so go to output folder and check for json file see the xlx contain uh, converted into a json format right this is how you can convert your excel into json now we will see vice versa how we can convert json into excel so let me show my json i have already one json file just a minute uh, let me show the json file not this this is my json file okay so i have to convert from in this format uh, this is my json file and i have to convert into the excel format okay so what i will do i will go to transform i will stop my application it's good to stop the application okay i will go to transform message i will clear the payload now we have to define input so i will rename it okay we cannot let me i will say i will say json input create type i will say json example in example i will say go to desktop i will pick the json file this is my employee.json okay i will select it now let me remove this old mapping now we have to define output we have already excel sheet here so i will use same now i will map id with id name with name designation with designation address with address but if you see the address in the input message it's a comma separated city state and zip code i am going to show you how you can you know split that address into city state country and zip code so first we will going to test this let me start the application let's wait while our application is deployed let me clear the output folder also i don't want anything in my output folder let me drag and drop employee.json file into in folder let me refresh i can see a file has been generated you can see log see okay what have, i have to change the output name okay it's not what i have done one mistake so not a issue we will test it again in file instead of json it's not a json it's xl 
x. So let me save it. Let me remove output folder again, output file again. I will drag and drop employee.json to in folder. Let me check console what is happening. The file has been generated. I will refresh. Let me open the C. Now you can see, but what is the problem here? It is not in required format. We don't we want CT state and in the split format. Everything is coming to the single field. So for that, we have to go back to the transform message. I will stop the application and go to transformation. So what we have to do, it's simple. Add here, after this arrow, you have to write using, I will say define one pair called parts equals to what you have to split address employee. This is employee, see. I, instead of dollar, you can write employee dot space address. I will say split by comma. This is the you have to write now. Okay. What I will do? I will copy. I will put one. I will say. Now, how can you access your array parts of zero like that? Let me copy this. I will say CT in parts 1, state in parts 2, 3, 2. Instead of address, I will say CT, state, country, zip code. Okay. I will save the application. Let me run my application. Okay. I will remove this output file again. So we can get the latest file. That's it. While application is deploying. Okay. The application deployed. Now I will go to again. I will drag and drop in file into in folder the JSON file. Let's check the log. Okay, the file has been converted. Let me refresh. See, now you can see zip code, country, city, address, everything has been separated. Right? So, this is how you can convert your Excel into JSON and vice versa. So, if you like my video, just subscribe me. Uh, okay, and if any comments, just pass the comments. Thanks for watching video. Hope you have enjoyed.